Hey YouTube, so I thought we'd go over how this thing works. It doesn't really impact like a normal impact wrench. What it is, is basically like a pry bar. And if you hit the pry bar with a hammer, this is how this impact wrench works. So you have the motor and you have this flywheel. So I'm going to pull this out. And what happens is the motor spins up this flywheel and you have two locking teeth inside which I will show you. Um, and at a certain RPM, they clamp down on the anvil, which is spinning freely right now, but at a certain RPM, those uh, teeth clamp down on this anvil and all that flywheel energy goes into the anvil. So that's why when you're watching the video of this thing, it is taking quite a while to spin up and then and suddenly it impacts that's exactly what's happening so you can see this pulls off there's a little bearing there for this to ride on and all this all this is doing is the motors just spinning up this flywheel and uh, we'll look inside there so you have a little bushing here like most impacts do on the on the anvil end and uh, here you have the shaft it rides on basically one bearing there with a snap ring and you have one bearing there with another snap ring so i'm gonna pull that snap ring out and we'll take a look inside <sighs> got it all right so here the shaft is it comes out, there's bearing on the end, it's just a slip fit, no press fit, 6003RS, here you have the anvil with the other bearing on the back. So those, that rides freely on those two bearings and it just spins until the locking teeth in the flywheel. Let's see if this thing will focus. The locking teeth on the flywheel uh, jam onto that part of the anvil. Right, and then it transfers all the energy into the anvil, then into the socket. Here you have a half inch drive with the ball detent. All right, and here is the flywheel. So here is the flywheel. Has a gear on the back. And what you notice, it has two pins right here. And these are staked, so you can see that they are, what's going on with this camera? So you can see that they have the little markings there, they've been staked in, so they can't come out. And what these two pins hold in place are the two... You know what, let me remove some of this stuff because I think it's focusing on me. So 
So you can see one inside there on the top and one on the bottom. These are the two, like I'm going to call them teeth that uh, drop down at a certain RPM and uh, will lock onto this part of the anvil, right? So you can see right there, this thing, free, this thing will free spin until one end drops down and grabs onto the anvil like that, right? And then all the energy from this flywheel gets put into the anvil and then the socket. So um, this one, it is hard to describe how it works because I can't, it's not two pieces, one piece. And if you look here, you have a plate on the end. Let's see. And on the other side, another one, and there's two springs. These springs, yeah, you can see one spring there, another one there. These are actually holding these two uh, teeth in, a, in, in that position. Until a certain RPM, these two plates spread apart and the teeth will swivel down and just drop down like that and lock onto the anvil. Kind of hard to explain that part. Uh, I'll see if I can draw it maybe. Um, you know. Hopefully it'll make more sense. But this is it. This is how it works. Um, it's actually simpler to understand this one than it is an actual impact wrench. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to put it back together. I was thinking to try to push the pins out so we could take a better look, but I still want to use this thing. So I don't want to do that. And um, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching and that's it.